Walter Overcord here. You're welcome indeed to another edition of the programme. This week we're bringing you highlights of the annual Bunny Conlon Show, one of the biggest of its kind in Ireland. I'll be talking to RTE's George Lee, country star Mike Denver and lots more people involved in this great show. George, you're very welcome to Bunny Conlon. This is your first time here, isn't it? It is, Henry. I've heard about it a lot. I've looked at the different spellings in the town. Have you ever noticed that? <laughs> You've got different spellings on the signpost for Bunny Conlon. I kept on saying, I wonder which one I'm going to go to. <laughs> well, I'm here today. I'm looking forward to it. I believe it's the 70th Bunny Conlon show. It took me a long time to get here, but I'm delighted to be here. Uh, of course, you'd be a big fan of these type of shows because they're, they're community-led kind of projects. I think that's it. I think it is community, community, community. I think that's the thing which impress, should impress anybody about it, how these things are pulled together with the goodwill of everybody. <clears throat> it's a very volatile business, as you know, anything to do with agriculture. But to think that for 70 years, people have come together and created this. Sponsorship is obviously important, but with the smaller, as in not the ploughing and not the Tullamore show, it's hard to get the big sponsors. So it's it's almost like crowdfunding, but that is a community effort. But more than that, it's the people, and you see them in the stalls here. You can sense the atmosphere. To me, it reflects real Ireland. You know, that kind of way, yeah. where you feel it's homely, and it's exciting, and there's always something interesting in a place like this. I've been to quite a few of the agriculture shows, just not up this part of the country so far, um, but I am really looking forward to today. And do you think there is the way forward now, with all this uncertainty with Brexit, and the way agriculture is going, and the environment, do you think this is the way forward for rural Ireland? Well, we have gone through enormous change in the last 70 years and we're still here with the Bonnie Connolly Show and things like that. I think communities are the way that you stay clued in and you stay flexible and you stay conservative in relation to finances and you stay, you just remain able to deal with change. And I think we're facing a period in agriculture and in everything else right now, looking forward, of absolutely enormous change. Change has been demanded of us, change has been forced on us, whether it's through climate change or through the way we work, through technology or institutions or values, real challenges for people. And I think the best way and the tried and trusted way of getting through that is to remember your community. It's a bit like in a family. Families pull together when things get tough and they help each other through and community is like family and I think that's why we're here today. I think it's because of that and the sense of people. It's Ireland and isn't that brilliant? And you're looking forward to going around to all the stands and meeting the people? Today. I certainly am. I think the people are, I mean, they're so warm, they're so friendly and they just make it into a festival. I'm delighted. I'm the MC here, I've been doing it for the last number of years for the, for the committee, uh, John O'Hara, and as I know most of the lads, it's on the committee, so I've, I've done the MC for a number of years. Yeah. This is for the cattle This section. is for the cattle section, four rings. So, so uh, how, how, what kind of cattle is on display here? To be a mixture of every age group from, say, three to four months old up to senior cows and calves, uh, all breeds have been represented, and in the last year, and this year now there's a few of the rare breeds has come into it as well. So there'll be every, nearly every breed, traditional breed plus the continental breeds are represented here. And it's one of the second biggest show in the country next to Tullamore, which is on next Sunday. So it's a, it's a big achievement and it's a great, brilliant committee running it. And, and they take it very seriously, don't they? Oh, you see them putting a lot of work preparing the cattle. There's a, an awful lot of money goes into getting your cattle ready for the show in the first place. A lot of work and time and them lads, you know, you're traveling, you have traveling expenses, you have to feed for the cost of feeding an animal to get them up to this. And the whole goal at the end of the day is to bring an animal to a stage where they're going to get money for the, at, towards the back end and the special sh shows that'll be, sales that'll be on for these type of show cattle. The likes of Carrick and Shannon, and there's a few other ones that'll be. And do people travel very far for these? They come from all corners of the country, really. You'll have, you'll have representatives here from Donegal, you'll have people up from the south and all over the west and northwest. Wow. It's, a, it's, it's a big, big event. Yeah. And um, what kind of prize money is there for? Well, the prize money varies in different classes. The ordinary classes, the prize money be, I think it's sort of 100 down to say 60, 40. I think that's what it is. The, some of them then are up. There could be three, 400 in the classes. There's all Ireland classes here for baby calves and different weights, uh, 
there's weight controls on them, so they're all weighed here before they go in to make sure they're legal and legit. But there's some big prize money given out. There's classes there to be handing out 1,500 to 2,000 euro. So it's a, there's a lot, a lot of money changing hands for the day. So you want to be in, the, you want to be in the top three there if you can at all. That's what, the, that's what the aim is. I say for every show person here, is to be in the top three. We're Irish goat meat based, so we're based in Roscommon, and we breed for the meat. But we also have the does, which make we they're the ones we make pets out of. So it's some people are a bit against it, some some do like it. But the meat is absolutely brilliant. So we love showing, we love helping people see that the goats are uh, a much a much uh, underestimated animal, really, because. Um, they are uh, they're, they're a lovable they're a very human animal to be honest yeah. and uh, are, are goats popular now in ireland or have they waned a bit they're getting much more popular now because of the introduction of the boer goat which is from Af south africa and they're a much more docile breed so they're a lot easier kept um, and then there's the pygmy goats which a lot of people love the pygmy goats because they're so small and easy kept in a garden and you don't see goat meat much on the menus in restaurants, but is it something that we're going to see more of, do you think? Yes, that is, because we actually supply three restaurants in Dublin, uh, and they're really top-notch uh, restaurants. Um, they've never tasted any of our meat, any meat like ours, because that's what we're inter inter interested in, is um, the quality, not quantity. And there's less fat, I believe, in goat meat. There's 45, 50% less fat than beef and lamb, and it, it's a much... Uh, tenderer goat which is the boer one and it is a, a leaner meat so because of that leanness they sort of tend to be very like the the deer this is your first time at the bunny condon show what's your impressions it is and i'm really impressed with how well organized it is i think there's a lot of work gone into it and i congratulate them for how organized it is and how they've got all the pens ready for the the exhibitors you're very unusual colored uh, sheep here at the show yeah, we just had dyed them there for the show and all that, like, you know, so they look a bit better and all that. And, you know, oh, there's a lot of work going into it. There is, yeah, a lot of work, yeah, a lot of work. Spend hours at it. <laughs> and what kind of sheep are here um, on display today? These, these, are, these are your own. These are my own here now, these are all Suffolk's. They'd be popular. Ped Pedri Suffolk's, yeah, yeah, very popular, yeah. 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 What to, about some of the other sheep that are here as well? Different types? There's all different types, yeah. There's all Beltex and Charlies, and as you can see over there, there's um, Jacobs, like, you know. And, we all comp tend to compete against them and all that, like, you know, it's... And do you think it, having them died might help you a little bit uh, with the judges? Um, not really, no, no, no. It all depends on how they handle, I think, if the handling them is the, the main thing. I'm sure a lot of kids particularly are getting a kick out of seeing them Oh, that they colour. do, yeah, yeah, everyone does, like, you know. Yeah. Just wondering why they're that colour, like, why they're not white and... <laughs> and do you come to the show every year? Uh, most years, yeah, yeah, most years, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and you, you come from Belmullet? From Belmullet, yeah, yeah. So it's a long day for you. Uh, it is, all right. Yeah, is it worth it? Uh, it's a day out anyways, like, you know. Yeah, great. Lovely. Yeah, well, yeah. good luck with it anyway. Yeah. Hope you do well. All right, so thank you. A great day for all in Bunny Connor. Great memories and fair play to the ones that started it. They deserve great credit because if they didn't start it, we wouldn't be here. And you have been involved in it for many, many years now. You're chairman of the uh, Bunny Condon Show, but you've been in over 20 years, haven't you? Um, I have. I've been involved since I was a kid because my dad and, P and all his friends were in the show and I would be brought down and he'd be given out rosettes from about eight, the year when I was eight years old. So. I'm, I'm I'm 21 or more now, so I won't say any more. Well, there's a lot of preparation goes in because it's a massive show, and look at the crowds that are here today as well. Even though the weather has just turned a little bit nasty at the moment, but earlier on it was after the beautiful sunshine and huge crowds here. Huge crowds that we we didn't think they'd stay here, but the same thing they have all umbrellas bral with them, which is a great morning, but a bit disappointing for the afternoon. Afternoon, but they're staying here; they're not going away. So a lot of preparation went into this show. The people has been here for a month. We had Rodel Sorter Scream Toast and um, 
uh, their RSA and they've done a lot of work with it, a rural social scheme, yeah? They've done a lot of work with it. Yeah. And you're on what, 200 acres size? Well, we'd have 200 acres taken over altogether uh, between Parkland and one thing and another. And I want to thank the farmers for giving us the ground because without the ground, you can have all the shows in the world, but it doesn't work. I'd like to thank our sponsors as well because the sponsors are very important with this because this is a huge event. This is 187,000 to run this for the day's event. So it's a lot of money. So you need a lot, of, a lot of cooperation. There were exhibitors as well. I want to thank them for coming year after year and supporting us. Now we do our best. We always honor what we say. So it's, a, it's just, it takes a bit of organizing. I want to thank the ladies here in the canteen here. They're flat out looking after our stewards and everybody, all our helpers. So there's a lot of them and they'll be up in 300 here today between Garda, Civil Defense and our own stewards. So it takes a bit. They were out this morning at six o'clock, some of our, our gatesmen and Stewards, so I want to thank them. They came from Fair and here, they're not all in the parish. They come a long way, some of them, but they always come to help. It's a tremendous family day out, isn't it? It's a great family day out. There's something here for everybody. The, the, you name it, we have it. We have poultry, dogs, chickens, domestic arts, cookery, horses, ponies, sheep, Jim Canna. I could keep naming. We have Mike Denver, I was just on him there, Jerry Guthrie, Cleona Hagen. I could keep naming, but that's, that's, uh, <laughs> that's all I can think of. I'm happy the way things are going so far today. Oh, happy as the Lord. Now, it, it, some of them will be a bit damp going home, but sure, that's beyond our capability. Yeah. yeah and work starts then for next year tomorrow. As well, it's, uh, it'll take another month to get this cleared up anyway, and then we'll have a bit of a break in the new year with Albert Lovely. And, and away, again. To, uh, away again. I want, I want to thank yourself and your crew for coming down here, doing a tremendous job and promoting us over the last few years. Thanks, John. build on it, pistons, head gasket, so on, camp out. And we have a 1984 Mini with a 1100 engine in it. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. And how valuable would these cars be? This one is up on 6,000. And this one would be five, five and a half thousand. Yeah. And you're a bit of a car enthusiast, are you? Yeah. Yeah, I've been working with cars since I was 14, 15. How, what kind of reaction you get to hear at the Bunny Condon show from people looking at them? They have a lot of interest in the Mini. Because it's so... Because I know Mr. Bean made them very, very popular with some of these shows. Would that be one of the reasons they're popular or is it just because they're the Mini? I think it's because it... Well, it'd be partly that and that they're like a rare car to see. You don't see them man, many around any days because they're always rotten. And, Falling apart. Did you drive that up from Sligo now? I drove that up from Sligo, yeah. It goes well. It goes well, yeah. All right, enjoy the day. Yeah, yeah thanks, you do. Bunny Connolly show, you're on a fundraiser mission. Absolutely, we're here from Stoke on Community Park, that's down in Castle Connor and West Sligo. And we're developing a community park for the people of West Sligo and North Mayo. And it's going to be a fantastic community for each and every person in the area. And we're, people can go on and buy tickets online at stokeon.ie, S T O K E N E. You have some great prizes, including a bull, I believe. We have, and he's a champion bull. He's just after winning first prize here at the Bunny Connolly show. So, he's, so we have an award-winning bull, uh, as well as being a top pedigree bull from the Milan herd, which is a famous herd in the limousine, uh, limousine breed in Ireland. Yeah, what are the other prizes? Like? So we have a 1,000 euro holiday as well, um, from Flyaway Travel. We've got Sligo Candy Boy, Sligo Candy Boy with the Dublin Horse Show coming up next week. 
is one of the top stallions in the country. So we have a service for that. And as well as that, we've got a coal, we've got a Hereford Heifer calf, we've got breaks away, we've got so many amazing prices. And what, what kind of reaction do you get here at the Bunny Collins Show? Oh, well, the reaction that we've received here at the Bunny Collins Show and previously at the Innistrone Show has been phenomenal. The people of Mayo and the people of Sligo have really come out and supported us. And we've even, with the launch of our website online, and you can buy tickets online, we've had people buy tickets as far away as New York, Australia, and it's been phenomenal. Well, other thing, uh, what's it going to cost this project? Well, the project's going to cost in, in just under 400,000 for the complete project. That's with everything done. That's what, but we're also working very closely with Michael Ring and his department. And we've had fantastic support from the local politicians and Michael Ring's department. And uh, when do you hope to have it completed? We hope to have the project cut ground all going well. Once we get Clore funding from Michael in the next couple of weeks, we hope to get that cut ground this year and we hope to be finished this time next year. Right, good luck with it. Thank you very much. Again, at the Bunny Conlon Show. Um, this year there's a, a competition being held, and that's what's happening behind us. Um, there's eight young finalists from all of the different agricultural shows around the county competing here today, so we're delighted to be here, along with a whole um, list of other activities as well. Yeah. What kind of other events are happening here today? I know there's a big cook-off later on as well. That's right. Um, also here in the, in, the, in the marquee is we have a lot of children doing uh, some cooking demonstrations, pizza making, so that's happening here just behind you. Also we have a number of exhibitors here as well, uh, just promoting the county and promoting their wares. So to give you an example of who's here with us, you have My Valley Resources just here behind me, you have the Mayo North Promotions Office, you have the Ballycroy National Park, you have the Tabard Museum, you have the Cage of Fields, you have the Great National Hotel in Ballina, and uh, you have ourselves, of course, from Mayo.ie. So, um, how important is for Mayo.ie to have a marquee at, at an event like this? I think it's hugely important because this time of the year, a lot of our diaspora are returning home to spend their two weeks annual ho holiday here. So, you know, as part of their holidays, they come here and they visit the Bunny Conlon show. So I think it's a great opportunity for us to showcase what's new in the county and what's developed in the county. So when they come in here, they get an opportunity to, to get a taste of that here. It's Mayo all the way here. Uh, that's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Lovely smell of food here in the Mayo Court. This is always a popular place to be if you want food. And again, like every other year, Henry, it's so popular again this year. We've got so many chefs involved. And a big thank you to Daniel William and Fireman Estate, Jan Gugetti. And we have about 40, 50 children gone through on the cook tent so far. Adrian, you can hear him talking in behind us. But I mean, local chefs doing great things. We have Django from Addy Mas just up the road in a Euro talk and uh, food and wine young chef uh, of the year here today. Uh, what will you be cooking up today? Uh, today we're going to be cooking salmon with some lovely uh, local seaweed and baby potatoes. And we're going to finish off with some baby jam and a little tomato salsa. Hard to beat that now, wouldn't it? Hey, I'm looking forward to the taste. Looking forward to the taste. How about you? Well, I'll be cooking and he'll be talking through the whole demonstration. So I'll be hands on and he'll be mic on. Yeah, I'll be all talking. It's good to have the teamwork. Good yeah. to have the teamwork on the day. And we hear so much about the shortage of chefs, and it's great to see young people getting involved in this. It's so, it's so important. I mean, the mentoring of young chefs is what we're showing here today. Farnham Estate showing that they're putting the work into training and uh, bringing on new chefs development. It's so important. Well, have a great day. Hopefully get a taste of it later on. You will, you will, you will. Mike, you're very welcome to uh, Bunny Conlon. Not the best of days, but I'm sure that won't spoil the music. Henry, we don't mind that. The sun is going to shine. Now, we're on stage in about 15 minutes' time, so the sun is going to shine. Uh, this is your first time here, is it? Before no, we... no, we've done, the, we've done the Bunny Conlon show a couple of times before this, but uh, it's been a few years now, but it's, it's huge crowds here, huge amount of people, young, old. There's, there's everybody here today, so it's a great place to be. 
And of course, a lot of visitors come to see you as well, and they look forward to your performance on stage. Yeah, a lot of people here for the music, I suppose. There's a, a lot of country music here over the day. The great Jerry Guthrie is on stage at the moment on, on the far stage. We're hitting to this near stage here in a few minutes' time, so it's great, great for people. It's uh, something to do as well for people to come out, they can dance, they can enjoy the day. Lots of great stalls here for, for everybody to enjoy. Do you do a lot of these kind of festivals? Uh, there is, yeah, there's a lot of different shows over the year. The summertime is busier than, than, than the rest of it because there's so many shows and uh, festivals and different things on right through the year. So it makes it makes it different. Lots of daytime shows as well. So days like this are great. If the, if it said a little drier, we'd be a little happier. <laughs> Who knows, it might clear up. Uh, well, fingers crossed. Stage. Mike, how's business in general and uh, what will be coming up for the next few months? Oh, it's very good. We're uh, in the middle of the tour here, we're doing every Wednesday night as a res residency in the Denny Hotel yeah. in Killarney. Leave huge crowds out there. Huge crowds in Killarney, it's, it's buzzing down there, so it is. We're, we're all over the country, we're up and down and in and out. We're starting the concert tour then, later on in the year we're hitting, uh, I know we've one coming up in the Royal Theatre in Castle Bar. It's in uh, Cancer Care West, in association with Cancer Care West. Um, we have Ray Lynham, we have Philomena Begley and myself and the band, so it's going to be a great Some night in the Royal Theatre. We're looking forward to coming back for that. What about recording there? Uh, I think you in the pipeline. There is of a brand new album, almost finished. We're just mixing the last few bits at the moment, so that's going to be out in the next few weeks. Um, after that, then it's 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 back into the studio. It's saying try and get a video or two for yourselves ready. Uh, maybe one of the tracks from the latest album, get a video for that, and then it's back into the studio, back recording. Have a great afternoon here, buddy. Henry. Contact. Thank you. God bless. about your horse yes so um he's a heavyweight um his name is mr spud um his breeding is unknown i don't know his breeding which i'd love to know um he's nine years old so today he's competing in the heavyweight um shown in hand class for the cob type um also he competes in um hunting classes as well maybe a little bit of jumping and the ridden class as well, so, right. yeah. And he's done very well today. He's done very well today, yes. He got second in the heavyweight, yes. which I have another lightweight cob. Uh, pity he wasn't here. Yes. Um, he won the lightweight cob. And uh, again, he's a lot different to this fella. Um, and and uh, you're very involved in horses. Yes, I compete in every, every show, nearly every weekend. And how important is this uh, Bunny Connor show for the likes of you now? Oh, it means a lot. It's a local show. Um, I'd like to support it if I can, and which I have in the last number of years. I've never missed it. And I enjoy it. Yeah. Great. Well, yeah. congratulations. Thank you. Uh, on, on the great win there, Thank Mr. You. Spud. Uh, you're about ready to go into your competition. I what am is it? it? Um, it's a three year old and over mare class, hand class. So tell me a little bit about this. Uh, yeah. This is a 10 year old Welsh Section A pony. Uh, recently bought for my son, and he's competed here and he's won the lead rein class. Um, so then that entitles her to go into a champion, an overall champion. Mm -hmm. And then I just show her a few hand classes. Wow. How do you think she'll do? Well, hopefully. Yeah. Bit of luck, she'll do well. Is there a lot of competition in, in, in these? Uh, yeah, of? like the lead rain class there, there was over about 10 ponies in it. So yeah, they're quite competitive. And where do you come from to take part? Um, I just come local in a scrone. But uh, like we travel to a few shows around Connacht. And how does this one compare to some of the other ones? Yeah, it's up there. Like it's more competitive, a lot more people travel, you know, further distance. So. Well, we wish you well in the okay. competition. Thank you very much. Another successful show and well done to everybody involved. We're certainly looking forward to coming back again next year. Now, don't forget, after the break, we're heading over to Manchester to join Martin Logan. And there will be a repeat of this programme on Saturday evening next at 8 o'clock. And I look forward to your company next week at the same time. So once then, slán go fall.